place we were just in. We just walked, I don't think, not even 10 minutes. And yeah, we just came from a busy uh, local marketplace uh, to this more fancy skyscraper filled uh, landscape. This is one of my favorite parts of Kuala Lumpur so far. It's a Malay neighborhood and it's full of these traditional houses and amazing restaurants with amazing local food. So I just paid uh, um, 12 ringgit, which is 2 euro and something, for um, rice and chicken and egg dish and uh, iced coffee huge iced coffee it was so so good so delicious i will surely come back and i'll record uh, i was so hungry i didn't i didn't remember to turn on the, the camera imagine you live in this house and every morning you get your coffee looking at that pretty crazy and yeah it's a very very nice neighborhood i'm sure the people here are happy. Talking to the Grab driver before, um, and I was asking about uh, the inflation that we felt in Europe, if they had felt it um, here in Malaysia, and he was saying that a little bit, not as much as in Europe, Europe a little bit, but um, the government issued a lot of subs subsidies, a lot of help to the people. If you're a local, and you need to go to the hospital, you pay a flat fee of one ringgit, which is like 20 cents. And he explained that is because the country has a lot of income and not a big population. So the government is able to do this, to distribute the, the wealth. Such a mixture of cultures from Pakistan and Indian food to Malay food, to Chinese food, to Korean food. Very rich in culture. The Grab driver was telling me also that a um, lot of words in the Malay language that uh, come from influence from other languages, like in from Portuguese, uh, bandeira, which means flag, is the same word here. They also say bandeira. Like, he, was, he said it with a different accent, but same word. Also, queijo which means cheese, he told me they say queixo slightly different uh, accent but same words this is a country uh, based on different cultures and uh, influenced by different cultures guys look how crazy traffic here is uh, at an intersection so we are at this crazy infinity pool at a friend's apartment those are the Petronas, right there. Scale tower. And the second highest building in the world. It's pretty insane. Up here. A lot of different ways. Let's try that one. A lot of different paths you can choose to take. Beautiful and peaceful. And in the middle of an hectic city like Kuala Lumpur, you don't hear one car. It uh, tells you about the size of this park. Mostly you hear birds and uh, crickets. Let's take this road down, see where it leads us. A playground for kids. Another one. Beautiful. It's like we are in the jungle. A lot of people doing sports, kids playing. Such a nice place. Let's cross here. Oh, okay, now we see some skyscrapers. 
I'm gonna throw this. Throw this path. And voila. Very nice. Don't disturb the happy couple here. Look how nice this looks. Super well put together and you can see it's taken care of. That's pretty much everything that I saw in the details.